The objective of this topic is to become familiar with the American Welding Society system of welding symbols and to learn how these symbols communicate information on engineering drawings. Designers use welding symbols on engineering drawings to convey fabricating information. No matter how complex the joint design or welding procedure, these symbols can communicate specifications without lengthy written instructions. It's easy to learn these welding symbols, and you'll find them in standardized locations on the drawings. Once you understand their meanings, you'll be able to describe any type of weld. This topic is a summary of the basic elements of the symbol system. More specifics are in the Symbols for Welding Programmed Instruction Packet, or in the American Welding Society publication A2.4, Standard Symbols for Welding, Brazing, and Non-Destructive Examination. All symbols begin with a reference line drawn long enough to contain the desired information. An arrow is added to the reference line to locate the joint where the weld will go. The arrow can be on either end of the line and point up or down depending on where the symbol is placed on the drawing. The symbol for the type of weld is the most important element and where it is placed on the line indicates which side of the joint is to be welded. We'll use this symbol for a fillet weld to demonstrate side significance. If the symbol appears below the reference line, the weld is placed on the side of the joint where the arrow points. This is called the arrow side. If the symbol appears above the reference line, the weld is placed on the opposite side of the joint. And if the symbol appears on both sides of the line, then you are to weld both sides of the joint.